Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Welcome. This is Sean. I do sneakers. I do travel and everything in between. Yes, guys, you read the title right. This is a PG4 episode. This is my first impressions video for the Paul George 4, his fourth signature sneaker. My first PG, yes, I didn't pay attention to the one, the two, and to the three, simply because I buy sneakers to play in them. And to me, the PG line just feels inferior. No offense to you who swear by the PG. I know it's a great sneaker to some of you, but uh, basketball sneakers are preferential ultimately. It's a matter of stride, it's a matter of uh, uh, taste, it's a matter of uh, court feel, and uh, the PG to me falls short, right? Uh, I think the Kyrie line is better, the LeBrons are definitely better, Jordans are better, but that's just me, and feet are different. But it's a different scenario this time around because I'm, I'm loving the look on the PG. They went with a uh, they went with a traditional swoosh on the side panel sneaker, right? And at first glance, whether you like to admit it or not, it looks like a Nike Hyper Adapt, right? So I might probably, I might flash a picture of a Hyper Adapt here somewhere. Uh, they look the same. And uh, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's a, uh, at the end of the day, it's a simple silhouette and simple always works. Uh, you know, the simplicity of the sneaker, um, that's where the beauty lies. Right, uh, the one, the two and the three, nice simple look. The one had that nice swoosh on the side panel. The two and the three, yeah, so-so. But this one, I like, I, I like the, the PG4's design language. And Nike changed up a few things in the PG4. First noticeable change would be that thing that hugs the sneaker, it's a shroud, it's a zip up shroud, it's made of mesh. It's mesh material, you'll see on the lateral side, it's made of a finer kind of mesh. And as you get to the medial side, it looks kind of a net, revealing some of the, the internal lacing system. Zip that down, it reveals a traditional lacing system where there are laces and you tighten it up by tightening the laces, where you do a bow and you cover it up with a zip up shroud. Another feature that they changed up in the PG4 is that instead of the usual four foot zoom unit, we now have a full length air unit as the strobel, right? It's new to the PG4, but using, uh, using a full cushioning system as the strobel for the sneaker is not totally new to Nike. They did that with the recent KD where they have a zoom unit as the strobel. Um, I have a KD, I have that KD, and it works, I guess, but I'm not sure how an air unit for a strobel will work. You know, I do have the sneakers, um, I haven't even played in them, and I haven't even walked in them, I haven't clocked in miles in them, I just took a few steps inside a store, checked it out. So uh, those are the two main features, I guess, that will really stand out uh, when, you, uh, when you get your hands on uh, PG4, when you do check them out at the store. You'll, you'll have the, the zip up shroud and you'll have the full, full length strobel air unit. Let's go around the sneaker and check out some of the details. You'll of course see the silver swoosh, that metallic swoosh on the lateral side. Again, they're doing the traditional swoosh on the side. It's a departure from the previous PGs where um, there weren't any swooshes on the side panel, at least not this big, right? Uh, there's a fuse overlay here. Of course, it aids in containment, it aids in your lateral movement. You'll notice also the predominantly white midsole here. All right, and the outsole is an icy blue outsole. I'm not sure how this will perform in court. I don't know if it will bite the floor. Watch out for my performance review. That's how we'll know, okay? Uh, over at the back at the heel, we have Paul George's signature. You also have a pull tab. And over here on the top, of course, there's that zipper. And as you open that up, there's a 
there's a pull tab on the tongue and you have your traditional lacing system. One thing you need to know though about the sneaker is that they're snug. I'm a natural size 10, I asked for a 10. I put it on, I had difficulty getting my foot into the shoe. That's one more thing, if you have wide feet, even if you ask for a half size up, you'll probably have issues getting your feet into the sneaker because uh, the, the it, it, it's snug like that. It's it's a booty, it, it's, it's a booty construction sneaker. It has laces, but uh, it doesn't have a real tongue, if you know what I mean. So th there's kind of difficulty in getting your foot in. You'll have to use both pull tabs, the front tab and the back tab. So good luck getting your foot in, but once your foot is in, you'll feel that there isn't enough toe space, at least for me. And you know what? I'm a narrow footer. So I know if the, if the shoe is snug for my size, it will be snug because I'm a narrow footer with a semi-high arch. I had to ask for a 10.5, I asked for a 10 and a half. Um, it, it fit nicely. Another thing you need to know in terms of fitment, in terms of containment, this shoe is a little on the wider side. It's a wide sneaker, but um, lengthwise, you won't have enough toe space. Even toe box height is uh, not enough on the sneaker. I mean, if, like for me, I'm a natural 10, I had to go half size up because I needed a little bit of toe space. I needed a little bit of toe box height because I intend to play in these sneakers. I, I don't use basketball sneakers casually and I intend to play in these sneakers and I need toe space because, you know, stop, you, I, I stop, I go. Uh, you, you make your explosive movements. I make it sound like I'm such a great player, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, you, stopping and going and cutting and going laterally, you'll need toe. Uh, you'll need toe space. And besides, you're gonna wear thick socks. You're gonna wear thick athletic socks. So you definitely need toe space. The official colorway of these PG4s is black, light, white, smoke gray. Did I get that right? Black, white, light, smoke gray. It costs just under 6,000 pesos. It's a, uh, it's not an expensive sneaker. It's definitely a sneaker that you should consider if you're out there in the market for new basketball kicks. What do you think of the PG4? I'll have more on the sneaker as I wear it, as I play in them. It's my first PG. I am so excited, all right? And that's all the time we have for this episode. Don't forget that we have a giveaway. We have an ongoing giveaway. It's a New Balance 574. Check out the mechanics at the description. Good luck. And before we go, I'd like to remind you that your value as a person is not measured by what's on your feet. Be kind. That's more important than sneakers. I'll see you next time.